Thinking that, thinking that you're a genius, that you that you know if a relationship definitely should come to you every time when that's not really the case. Because she loves she loves the other guy too much, so she's pretty much beating you on. But you could charge it for the advice. That'd get rid of somebody you need for that. Charge for advice? Yeah. He's made a really he's good point. You know, like we, when we've been talking, we've been we've been saying, as guys, we feel like this is what the friend zone is. Nine times out of ten, who's putting who in the friend zone? Yeah. Women. Women. So speak. I'm gonna make it clear. I'm gonna make it clear. Yeah. What is the friend zone? It's different for guys and girls. Right. Like a guy could spend every waking moment with a girl and let somebody ask them, "What are you?" And they'll say, "That's my friend." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you said, that's the difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? Boy, that's the difference between girls and guys. Now, if you my boyfriend and I know you and I, I spend all my time with you, and then somebody asks me, I'm gonna say, "That's my boyfriend." But if you're not, then I'm gonna say, "That's my friend." Like that's the difference between guys and girls. And, they, and a lot of people don't realize that relationships are trial and error. You ain't gonna get them all right. If I if I got every everyone right that every guy I've ever talked to, I'd have a thousand boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? You give guys your number thinking, oh well, you know, we, we can just try it out, but you may not get through one day. I'd be like, he's boring, I, he can't keep my attention. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens that way, and I hate to say it. Maybe some guy has felt that way about me, like it ain't gonna work. She's not what I'm looking for. That's just what it is. So you just be friends after that. You know, maybe you continue to like me, but I don't continue to like you. And it's not gonna work if we both don't like each other. So you just be friends. Freak. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you also have to give the guy, you know, you know, you say the guy is boring. I don't know what's the definition of boring. What's the what definition, the definition of, of boring? You know, of not not necessarily boring. boring. I, I base everything off of feeling. Okay, exactly. A guy yeah. can be <laughs> a guy can be boring, but he's boring to me. But. A yeah, yeah, like okay, him. yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, not necessarily saying he's born, he's just not what I'm looking for. He's just not what I'm into. So, basically, like, you and that person just are not compatible. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's, that's right. You know, I feel like every, yeah. I, and then I'm that type of person, I don't, I don't take, I don't want nothing. I, I was created to be extraordinary. So, everything that I have and have in life, I want to be extraordinary. I don't, I don't have time for mediocre relationships, mediocre love, mediocre conversation, mediocre, you know what I'm saying? I want everything. I, I, I need that to be, you know? So, you know, so I just want to, and I, I, and I can't blame my, you know, I, I, I have to be happy in life. So, I'm just not going to settle for anything. So I feel like that falls into like, like people. If you if you see like yourself dealing with somebody for a long period of time, let that person know what you want. Because a lot of times relationships or situations will get jacked up because you don't tell that person from the jump, "Hey, I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just looking for somebody to chill with," or "I'm just looking for somebody." You know, I am looking for a relationship. Tell people what you expect. Mm -hmm. Like me personally, if I'm ever getting a relationship, that person needs to have God as as his head. And if he don't like, that's my that's my that's my cue to be like, we'll just be friends. Like, so it's just you just have to put put that stuff out there from the jump, so nobody feelings don't get hurt. But people be playing. <laughs> I was gonna say, all right. So in your specific case, you said say it from the jump, but like, why did you get mad when that guy said, "What are we?" I didn't get mad. It was just like. What, what, what do you mean? What are we like right now? We're just friends. I don't. I, I'm. I'm not the type of person to say like there's a time period on a relationship. There's a time period on like certain things, but a week. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna be like this person come up to me and be like we can be in a relationship and we've been talking for two weeks, but I'm really really feeling him or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not gonna just throw him to the back burner. But it's like certain things. I feel like it just needs to take time. And yeah. if, if you don't, if you don't respect that, I don't. Are we like, yeah, cause you know, after that time, you sure already know. At the end of the day, I didn't even know him like that. Like, it was just, all I know is your, your first name, your last name, and what you told me. Like, <laughs> Easy to fuck that question. Another thing, as much as bad to rush, try to rush into a relationship, it's also bad to wait too long. Like, be, like, be a bitch about it. Like, I've 
I heard a bitch. I can't. 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 I can't
I can tell you how many times have you gone to the mall and see a girl you like and go and get her number. You want to know her from your class or from your church or from high school or from Facebook, you know. So that alone will kind of, you know, give you time to, like, become friends, that you're becoming more than a friend. But if you meet a girl and, you know, show her the signs right there, like, you know, not being fast or, you know, being needy, but, you know, you take your time, but you let her know, give her the signs that you want her as, as something more serious. I think that's where guys really mess up here, you know. <laughs> exactly. If y'all supposed to be friends, you should be in the same bed. If y'all supposed to be friends, you should be in the same bed. Is that a hand raised, Timothy? Look at you being all in order. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy is so classy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We're not going to focus We're not going to fight. It's not that important. Anyway, go ahead and talk. We're not going to fight. Okay. I, I want some feedback from the girls. We've been talking a lot about, like, about the swing, being aggressive and pursuing somebody and also being patient with it. I, I just kind of want to know from a girl's point of view, like, what, what, what's the right, I know it's not exactly time, but more like the right amount of interaction. In my case, I'm, there's this girl. I'm kind of talking to her right now. We've gone out on a couple of dates, not a whole lot, but you know, we've done a few nice things, gone to dinner and a movie, gotten lunch, and gone on a couple of different occasions. But I, just, I, I don't know when I want to you know, sit down and talk with her, just like, you know, <laughs> tell her how I feel and if we're ready to go on to the next level, you know? Like, actually put a name on it and say we're dating. So I just want to know, what, what's a good time frame to do that? I feel like considering you have been on all these dates and hanging out, uh, now is the time. Now? Like, you should be like, okay, so uh, I want to be with you. Up 
soon. Like <laughs> 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 come until next week and cry over something. I'm like, no. Yeah. It's cool. Let Island hear the The subtopic under the defense is he's too nice. What what does a woman consider too nice? What does a man consider too nice? Because you know, you know, you might be with your boys and you might do something like somebody did some shit today. <laughs> like what? What? What is being too nice, and why is that a bad thing? I think for me, for me, for a female, like if she cook, that's not too nice. That's just that's like dope, right? Mm-hmm. That's dope. <laughs> but like, but like, too nice for me would be like, like I want a girl to to let me be the man out of respect. Like, and not because she's scared that I'm going to hit her. You know what I mean? Or something like that. So, like, 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 so, about stuff and not just agree with it because I said it. You know what I mean? I want it to be, I mean, if, if we get into an argument about something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want her to be on my side just because, she, you know what I mean? You are what, what? Just tell, yo, correct me. You know, that's funny, that's funny. Yeah, in a good way, in a good way. Yeah, in a good way, in a good way. Like, yeah. still respect me as a man, but be like, you know, like. It's funny, my mom used to tell me a story about this guy in Nigeria. Um, his wife was like, completely just a yes woman. Like, he'd do something, she'd be like, yes, honey, yes, honey. Like, they were married for, like, I think 20 years, and this nigga snapped one day and beat her ass. <laughs> yeah, like, because he was like, why don't you ever oppose what I say? Like, why don't you ever add something? Like, she, she's she always that. agreeing. She kept saying, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah, why don't you oppose me? Yeah, why don't you oppose me? I mean, not oppose me as in, like, not be submissive, but oppose me. Like, why don't you have anything to add to what I'm saying? Why don't you have any 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 beneficial information? The man is a Nigerian man. Oh, he came from some other country. I feel like they don't have to be bigger than themselves in the jump, though. Those type of things, like, they come up in the text messages. You said what? No, I said just to get brownie points. Yeah, like no. I can't say brownie points. What the? F- what is a brownie point? <laughs> <laughs> you know what brownie points? No, we gonna talk about that. You know what brownie points? Like no. Yeah, like sucking up. Like, 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 like getting cool points. Bruh, y'all don't want to talk about brownie points and shit. Talk about snacks. We say it for. We talk about whatever we talk about. We not talk about snacks. <laughs> I'm foot too close. To I'm sorry, hey guys. I, I was figuing out brownie points. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. To me, too nice is basically you trying to be my mother. Like, because a lot of females on campus, you know, they try to be independent or whatever, and they misconstrue that with being someone's mother when they. Trying to take care of the Yeah, and I'm trying to say that, oh, I'm going to be my own man. Let me do what I want to do. You do what you want to do, but let me be a man. And I'm going to pursue you. You're not doing it. Don't be opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pursue the female, not pers- female pursuing me. A brownie point. I don't think something nice can do too much, you know. 
Mm -hmm. If something nice, you, you want it more. Mm -hmm. The issue is that if you don't like someone, no matter how nice they are, yeah. you're not going to like them. True. That's true. But when you like someone, you want them to be more nicer. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so I feel like when you meet someone, you don't, you know, they are nice to you and girls, especially girls. Mm -hmm. Don't tell them you're too nice, you won't be so much. Tell them, continue being yourself. Someone wants you. Mm -hmm. I might not want you now, but someone wants you. Well, I just want to <laughs> add to that, but like, me, me like, I mean, because there was, there was this girl that I liked in high school. We wound up getting together outside of college, you know, in my, fr my freshman year in college, right? And I, re I liked her, but she was too nice. Like, she didn't ever, when we were arguing stuff, she didn't ever, she, it was just always, you're right, you know. And I liked her, though, but I couldn't deal with that. And she, it wasn't going to change because we were nine months in the relationship, so I cut it off. But I liked her. I mean, I feel like everything is, as far as being too nice, you're not getting anything from that person. Like, everybody, nobody just wants somebody that's going to be in their bed. They want somebody that's going to challenge their mind feed their soul, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, and, and you, and you're not getting anything if you just agree with me, I can help, I'll be myself, like, <laughs> got the same thoughts as me, so, like, okay, I feel like a dude is too nice, like, I was in a relationship before, where the dude did everything I said, and never told me no, I mean, I mean, straight up, like, I was like, I'm hungry, he'll give me some meat, it's kind of like a dude on a TV, like, he did everything I asked, I mean, I loved it at first, I was How you miss your blessing. I mean, if a man is doing that for you, you have to appreciate God. So that, I don't think I can do that actually. You know, so if you find a man who does that for you, you have to go and thank God and pray every day. I want him to change himself. Yeah. He's a nice person, okay? But you know what is there? You don't like him. Yeah. That's it. You don't have any connection with him. Not him being nice. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want. I want. Like, what? What is the line between being too nice? And showing somebody you care. I don't think there's like, I mean, I think it goes back to what Timothy said about I don't think there's such thing as too nice. As long as there's reciprocation. If you're doing something for somebody and y'all are together, y'all are talking, and they do it in return, I don't think that's too nice. I don't think there's a definition of too nice either. But if only one person is giving, yeah. Yeah. if only one person is giving, then that's too nice, and then that person in turn is taking advantage of that person. But if y'all are mutually reciprocating yeah. the niceness, there's no such thing. If you like someone. Okay, like being too nice, I don't yeah, I agree with what you said about like being too nice. But like that's what we were put on this earth to do was to be nice and do good things. So why wouldn't y'all like appreciate that? Well, I mean I mean everything everything is in black and white. You don't live on that earth where everything is supposed to be as cool. Like, I have my own attitude some days, you know what I'm saying? Where it's just like, I just don't want you in my face. But it takes it, it, it look, everybody um, gets relationship ultimately fall in love, right? Love requires attentiveness. I'm gonna need you to know when I'm, when I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you should do things and when I, sh you should, you know what I'm saying? When I need my space. Yeah, but like, we don't know your feelings. No, but it, it requires you know what I'm saying? My mother has been married to my dad for over 18 years. She knows when that man is mad. She knows when something's not right. You know what I'm saying? Even me, like I've, I've dated guys that I've loved or whatever. If they, you know what I'm saying? You can send a text message and I know something isn't right. It requires attentiveness. You're obviously not paying attention. You like me. You're infatuated with me, but you don't love me because you're not, you're not paying attention to what I'm doing. You're just, you're just doing it to keep the relationship going. Go ahead, Casey. Yeah, I said, well, what's the line between too nice and showing somebody you care and you love them? I feel like the line between the two is if it's a one-way street or, or if it's a two-way street. Because if that person cares about you too, then they, they don't see it as you being too nice. They see it as you caring about them. Mm -hmm. But if that person don't like you, they're going to see it as you being too nice. So I've always...
always been the type of person, I've always seen it as it being a two-way street because I've had guys do things for me that other guys have done for other females and they'll take it as, dang, he too nice. Dang, he always doing this, but I take it as he just care about me because mm-hmm. I care about him. So That's a really good point. That's a really good point. Um, another question I have is like, we've all seen situations like this, whether we've been involved in these situations or not, like, Okay, you might be talking to a girl, or a girl, let me put it like this. A girl might be talking to two guys, okay? One guy buys her a teddy bear from Walmart. The other guy buys her a diamond ring. But the teddy bear guy gets her in the, in the end. Why is that? From a girl's point of view. Why is that? Like, it's like he's coming Yeah, he was just trying to buy her. It's a like, if the teddy, like, he bought me a ring, I'm not big on jewelry or whatever, but if he bought me a ring or whatever, and I liked it, that's okay, cool, but the teddy bear might have had something special, like, he might have had, like, a LeBron James jersey on or something, and I love it. <laughs> so, like, it's the small things that go into it, like, that's, that, that might have been an engraving on that ring. That he you might talk when you press his hand. Say what? He might talk when you press his hand. I know, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> he might sing. <laughs> Rings don't sing. Oh, don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> it's always, it's always, you know, I've learned that, I mean, not saying, okay, let me rephrase this. Females, we appreciate the little things. So yeah. if you, I'm a woman, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Women, <laughs> we appreciate the little things. Like, so if you take your time, I, okay, buy me a ring. Now, if you go get this ring, like, who said get it engraved? You get it engraved with, like, our favorite song or something like that, that's going to make me, like, yeah. I'm going to be like, oh. Stay together. <laughs> That count bridge. What? Is it right. that count? Yep. So, so everybody like, here has seen vines. Like, we all seen vines. 
Hey, if you watch my video, do it for the vibe. Right? I ain't gonna do it. But when you watch my videos, my videos are, we all know they're meant to be funny, but they're often exaggerations of the truth. Can we agree on that? No, they're exaggerations on the truth. Except for Okay, that being said, I saw this vine the other day where this dude, he was uh, coming out the store. From the, uh, I, what, I, you, I, you, I, you, I, you, you showed me. You showed me. Right, look. The dude is coming out the restaurant and he opened the door for his girl and he was like, he was like, here you go, babe, or whatever. And she just walked past him, uh, you know, that. right? And then all of a sudden, you know how they quickly change scenes and his outfit changed and he like, yo, what up, bitch? And smack her on the ass yeah, and yeah. she jumps all over him. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's something I don't know. I don't want to judge everybody here, but I'm I'm a foreigner. I'm from Nigeria, and uh, I'm new. You know, kind of new here. And I wouldn't say the word American girls are like that, but some girls are used to some certain things. I know when I first came here, I think it was the we all go to the club. I was like 08, 09. Oh yeah. And, you know, in Africa you say excuse me, dance. You know. And I went to the club, I say, excuse me, Dan. The girl would look at me like I'm a piece of trash, you know? She would look at me like, what? She probably excuse me because she didn't know what you were saying. No, 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 no. She, she, she heard it. She no, some would say, I can't dance. That's how you know they heard it. They heard. I said, excuse me, Dan. She would say, what? And then I saw some guys come there, you know, you know, grab his girls like they're a piece of nothing. Just grab it like they're clothes. <laughs> like they're from a handgun. You know how you go to the store, you pick up a clothes? <laughs> <laughs> These girls will dance. These girls will dance, and they'll keep dancing, they keep dancing. I had to do that for three months. Excuse me, that's no worry. <laughs> the last time I went to the club, I went there and grabbed the girl. I said, come here. <laughs> I grabbed the girl and said, and every time I do that, it works for me. So why would I say, excuse me, that's the girl? Why if I grab her, she would come and dance with me? The environment. They probably just like, a culture. It's just a culture. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. I, I, that's what I'm saying. That, that's, but that, that's tough. That's tough. Well, I mean, you can't, you can't know. I'm a culture. <laughs> the American culture is probably a culture. It's a culture. It's a culture. It's a culture. Like, that might be dumb to you, but it might not be dumb for us. Because that's our culture. I mean, I'm not cool. Okay, I'm a big comparison person, so I know I'm not. It's gonna sound like the last thing I just said, but it's kind of the same thing with women. You see guys date two girls, and one girl is just head on heels for him. She wanna be with him forever, and this one little side ratchet something. And we got, I'm gonna just use it like this. She may be the one get pregnant, but we always like, why he wanted her? What he wanna do with her? It's the fact of thinking you have forever. You got this girl that's probably wifey, you just like, she'll do everything for me. But that's not what you want right now. It's not that that girl that would see that guy and it's like, dang, he's a good guy. It's because we're 21, we think, I can do that later. I'm going to get it when I can get it. Same with God. You don't think, okay, she wifey, she cooks, but she going to be here. Let me go holler at this girl over here. And we just obviously, you know, just don't see it. Like, and that's yeah, that's good. Good.
Well, um, we know we've actually um, we've actually went down on this topic, but we have to come up with something. You know, we have different views. The females have theirs, the males have theirs, but we have to not. We, we have to learn. We have to learn. We're not here to just talk about our feelings. We want to learn something great right before we leave, but we're not leaving right now. At the end of the day, we should always think about the future. When you want to meet a girl or a guy, don't look past the present condition. If he's a nice person. Try to figure out yourself and that person in the future. And what you want, what do you actually want? Because most times people don't know what they want. We, we, we can say, I want this, I want that. But the flesh sometimes don't really go with that. So if you see a nice guy, no matter how, you know, how body looks, you know, look past his skin color, look past his muscles, you know, because the, the greatest things can be felt. You know, look into their heart, give them time. You might, you might, I mean, I have some ugly girls that love in my life. Like, very ugly girls. <laughs> <laughs> very ugly girls that love, you know? It's a nice deal with you. All right, all right, I love right. them, you know? Y'all you know, going to the gym? I, oh, shit. Yeah, I, 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 uh, right now, man, I'm about to go hit this black. This is a good I'm idea, but, uh, yeah. Right now, man, I'm just looking at this black. Right now, I'm 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 looking at this Bye bye, motherfucker. So that's why you gotta make sure that you like spiritually inclined in, within yourself before you even get in a relationship. Because if you're not there emotionally for yourself, then when you lose that person, you can't be there for yourself. And you're gonna go into depression and all this, whatever. Exactly, but that's what a lot of people feel at because they don't know how to find themselves. Yeah. Mm. When they find themselves in somebody else. Yeah. Right. That's, that's interesting. That's, all, right, all right, so to, to sum everything up, um, I want one one guy and one woman. Are you selfish, man? <laughs> Talk, man, bro. <laughs> to, you got to be a good to, host. To give, me, to give me their definition of what the friend zone is and what it means to be too nice. Yeah, I mean, just to, just to sum everything up, just to sum everything up, yeah, so who, who would like to go first, sum everything up, what, what, what is the friend zone, like, what did we learn today, or what was the point of this? Okay, like, the friend zone is basically like the video, yeah. where somebody throws you down in this pit, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, I think, I think the friend zone is needed, though, actually, it's because, like, once you reach that level of being in the friend zone, um, I think it's a good point to say, well, either the man can step up or the woman can step up if they want to take it further. So, I mean, like, the friend zone is basically, if y'all can be considered as friends, that's a good thing because, I mean, if, if, if two people are really cool with each other and they just, you know, kick back and chill every now and then, I mean, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Some people take advantage of just doing that. Some mm -hmm. people want to take it further, and they don't really appreciate what you know mm -hmm. the time they did spend together. Stuff you, like that. You just you just reminded me of a good point. Um, me, for example, if if I'm gonna date a girl, if I'm gonna talk to a girl, I want to actually be able to be her friend. Yeah. Like if we can't actually be friends outside romance, like there's no point. 
it, that, in my opinion, a lot of people are different. Like, a lot of people, like, if we weren't dating, we wouldn't be friends. You know, those relationships usually don't work, but what if somebody goes in with that kind of, or with those intentions, and gets, I guess, categorized in the friend zone, just because I was trying to get to know you as a friend first before I got to know you as a potential, you know. That's, that's where it's like the other person, if you ask somebody, like, if you want to take that next step, and then mm -hmm. somebody's like, no, I don't want to be with you, then they cut them off completely, then that's not right. But if y'all are friends, mm -hmm. then you should be able to understand, um, you know, if if you did turn them down or something, they should be like, oh, okay, we'll still be cool, whatever, whatever. Does anybody disagree with that? Does anybody have anything to add? Jeremy want to say something. Yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I saw his mouth. He was like, I wanted to uh, ask. Uh, we've been talking about this all night. But, uh, does anybody have a solution? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> My boy taking notes. <laughs> he was about to be upset. I want a, a clear-cut scientific process. I mean, like a solution. Ooh. I'll say a solution. Not difficult. I don't know. You should have came here for that. The only solution. 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 If in the future we connect, that would be good. But right now, let's be friends. So they can make an adjustment. If they want to go to another girl, then waste time in front of someone like you. Well, see, that's why it's called the friend zone. Because later on, you, there's no chance of you guys being in a relationship. That's why I want to say Most times, they want to talk to you. Sing it, bread. <laughs> it takes the friend zone sometimes to realize that you want that person. Okay? So, let them know what you know. All right, thank you. Hey. I was trying to say, before y'all leave, before y'all leave, just one more thing. After every meeting, I like, you know, everybody's opinion on what next week's meeting is. What, what next week's discussion topic is going to be. What we doing next on the just a list. Like, I was just doing, doing it for the vine. Like, oh, I was on. I was on. That's not fair. Tavion is outnumbered. It's not just because people are ignorant. Oh, Lord. Well, it's going to be a. You don't have to do it. You don't have to. They can't make you do anything you don't want to. <laughs> Do your brownie point dance. Ooh. You don't have one because that's a fucking made up word. <laughs> you don't know what brownie points? Never Where did that come from? Bro, no. that's been around for years. You, if you've never heard that, then that's. It's like cool points. But why do. Like, brownie points is. Yeah, but what's the significance of the brownie point? It's not. 
Okay, there is no. Everybody like brownies. Everybody oh, likes brownies. Oh, that's the significance. It's not. Y'all need to be different. No, I'm not. If I tell you, oh, you just want cool coins. Yeah, I will understand that though, because everybody wants to be cool. That's that's more logical yeah. though, but yeah, but brownie, brownie points came points before. Everybody cool. likes brownies, so everybody that must have been an era when everybody was eating brownies. Like, oh, that that had to be an era, bro. Yeah. No, I'm not. Y'all just don't like to think. Oh, 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 oh.